Hey everyone, uh, I'm so lucky today that I have actually managed to get batch one of the Isle of Harris's new whiskey, which the name has had, uh, they've actually had to make a YouTube video about the name, but it's the Herch, which is the, means a native in um, Gaelic, a native to people from the Isle of Harris. Um, it's got a really amazing story. It's all about the people and not the kind of push button processes. Um, the people in, it's been a lot of good jobs for the people of Harris. And I love the gin and I love whiskey, so I'm really delighted that I managed to get a batch one bottle, which I'm going to try today. And we're going to show you what's inside the box and give it a little um, test myself and maybe see some of the notes. Uh, it's quite a lot of uh, differences in the, in the notes. They're not really sh sure. And um, between the batches, there's quite a lot of different things that are coming out. Um, so I'll maybe give my own impression of what I'm going to pick up from the first taste on it. So it just came today, it's just came out, it's sold out, which is great for the Isle of Harris distillery. So looking at this uh, beautiful case and what we've got, first thing I noticed is something that I'm really looking forward to is there is a little coaster at the bottom, I'll get it in a sec. A little magnetic flipboard, the branding for it, the Herch or the Herch. Um, is here um, and that's it's got coordinates and on the back there's some pictures of some of the people that have been working on it. Our whiskey is woven from the warp of island people and the width of the place we call home helping to create a spirit of great complexity and character. So I'll, I'll open it up and it's absolutely beautiful bottle much like that um, Harris gin bottles it's that kind of um, etched kind of glass and this is what I'm really looking forward to a nice little coaster which I will use for my first dram. So inside the box it comes with this lovely little um, story of the distillery especially the, the, the whiskey aspect of it all and where the water source is and there's lots of there's a little bard here as well which is really impressive that you might want to give it a read and um, I'm not going to read it all out I think I butchered the pronunciation of it all and um, inside the little storybook uh, the social story, so that's like kind of playing on all the, the, the people that are involved and the jobs that are connected for that, which is really impressive with this distillery. Um, Crofter and Fisherman, Ian Angus McDonald, McLeod, um, and that's all that. But it's a historic whiskey, like they all are. I'm going to open this up and give it a little taste. So with each of this new batch of the new, new uh, whiskey bottles on the top, there is a little code, a little batch code, and you can go on their website and you can find out all the notes um, and the story behind each batch of the whiskey, which I think is really amazing. I've got the website loaded up here. Um, this is also the page in the story that tells you about it, uh, about the story of the whiskey. Um, 13,000 bottles, right, the batch is around 13,000 bottles, uh, and the cast being married in oak following matur maturation. And I also found out that there's a minimum of five years because it wasn't clear how old the, the whiskey was. And, and on the website, um, it has all the information about the peating levels, the yeast, the barley, where the water's come from, which is really interesting um, for myself to kind of go through. Um, and then it also had a tasting note from a local on Isle of Harris who said there's um, uh, peat flavours um, and also, which I thought was quite interesting, long clotted cream notes. So I'm looking forward to maybe trying to pick up some of that. And also had the story from Mike Donald, which is the chief storyteller for the Isle of Harris whiskies, um, which is really, I won't read all that out, but it's really interesting to to hear that story behind it. And I really like the kind of touch of the local local tasting notes. So I'm looking forward to giving that a taste myself. My trusty Talisker Schnifter. Need to get a Harris one at some point. Um, so I'm going to give it a little nose to begin with. I'm getting smokiness. Definitely getting sweet, but caramely. Definitely got spice. So I'm going to give it a, a quick taste now. Definitely getting that first hit of the smokiness, the peatiness. Mm. Yep, spices, lots of spices as well. Looking for this clotted cream, let's go for it again. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the sweetness more caramely, I'd say, than, than the cream. Um, 
but an absolutely amazing, really well-rounded whiskey with that nice, big, um, smoky, peaty hit that you get from this uh, island whiskies. So that's absolutely incredible. So coming up for the, the final, final dram, um, really nice, really strong flavors coming off that are kind of lasting, um, even since the first sip. I've been sitting with this one for a wee while. Um, absolutely beautiful now that I'm, where I'm finishing that. Um, big kind of flavors, I kind of have it as the vanilla, some florals coming through that are lasting really nicely. Um, and a wee bit, of, a bit of honeycomb as well. So really enjoyed that dram. Looking forward to seeing what other batches they come out with. Really looking forward to the future for some of their more mature casts coming out. You definitely want to get an eight to 12. Um, so yeah, really thank you very much for watching. If you never managed to get your chance, thanks very much for watching uh, this really inexperienced whiskey tasting review. Just thought it'd be really cool to document this first opening of the Harris whiskey. If you never got a chance to get hands on one of these, I'm sure there might be people some reselling them or some stockists that have got them in. But if you didn't, you need to get your hands on um, some of the future products and some of the future batches that are definitely going to be released over the years as it's an absolutely fine whiskey. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, other stuff on the channel is a bunch of hill walking in Scotland. Who knows, there might be more whiskey stuff to come. Bye.